Hello and welcome, it's Joy Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Today I am going to make a, this is MDF and I've sealed it both sides already with a couple of coats of acrylic paint because what I want to do with it is to make it into a, um, a plaque is that what you say a plaque for my house number so i want to paint it and then when it's painted i will resin it and i will then put the house number on it so we can attach this to our front gate with our house number on so it's um a plaque for your house number and another quick so i'm going to do a pour on there so nothing too too elaborate because it's going to mostly be for those numbers but just something that makes it a little bit different for your house house number you can um, attach it to your wall or your post box or well as is a gate because we're on a property so we needed something a little bit bigger so I just thought that would be a nice idea and the other thing I just want to quickly show you I I did acrylic pour over these candle holders um, the video was up sometime last week and what I did was um, I started to do it but thought I'd show you quickly is I blinged it up by adding some of those blingy things so the little tea candle goes in there or tea light and I thought before I give it a gloss coating um, I just quickly show you that I blinged it up and it's just so easy to bling things up I've got a um, I just bought this whole lot in a different pack of um, blingy I think these ones were from a local craft shop but I'm pretty sure that the link uh, Capriol Shabby Chic uh, Capriol Creative uh, sells those bling so all I did was this is just a bull glue and it dries clear so it was literally, oh yeah, I need to get my skewer because the end gets gunked up with the glue and poke it in the end. Oh, it's not coming out now. What have I done to it? I must have left it open and Rosie, get out of there. It's my puppy into all sorts. I can't get that. Oh, I need a sharp. Let's see if I can cut the end off. It, it's the glue is just that's it, that's it. So I just used the glue. So I suppose you can use some, um, like, well, anything as long as it sticks and dries clear. So this is all I did. I thought, oh, while I'm I can't do this because they may fall off as I go along, but they actually didn't. So it was just putting the glue on there. And then I just got, this might work better without my gloves because I couldn't feel the diamante thing. So I just got the, the gems and I just put them on the edge, just pressed them in the glue and they stuck. I just did random colors. I'm gonna use a different color. So I'm using the bigger ones. You can use whatever color you choose on there. But that white glue, um, it, it just dries clear. So you haven't got to um, worry if the glue is showing like it is there. And it's just a way of blinging them up. So away we went. And I just had fun with this one, just pressing the diamantes on it. So if you go out and buy yourself um, some of these gems, like that whole lot was $8, I think. I know it wasn't any more than 10, I'm pretty sure it was eight. So, and then it just added a bit of bling to my candle holders. So when I actually put a candle in there, those will actually glisten. So I was gonna resin these, but I'm thinking that they look, because they've got acrylic paint on, they're actually quite shiny. So I, I don't think I will, I'll just leave them as they are and just go over with my gloss wipe over. So I'm not doing the colors in any fancy or 
you know any particular i'm just putting them on as they come out i obviously just don't want the same color right next to each other but that's per all personal so just looking for the bigger ones in there i could have found out the small and gone real small little diamantes around the edge but i thought these will definitely glisten when the uh, tea light is on in them the candle or or you can get those little uh, battery operated lights so but they actually do stick quite well because those are all stuck that I did yesterday so it just blinged it up and I like bling so it's blinged it's a bling thing I think I will fit just one more so all right Maybe a pink one, yes. Oh, that's it. That's it. They will all dry clear just like that one has. Has, has, has. So it's quite pretty. It did dry a little bit duller, but it actually is quite nice because the gold is, the gold veining is lovely. So that was just another little idea. I thought I could do a two in one video because hopefully this won't take too long. So there you go. So I'm gonna put me bling things. Look at all those I've got to play with. Oh, future, future, future. There'll be something more blingified. Okie doke, let's get on with this particular pour. I've got a few colors left over and believe it or not, they're more of the earthy tones and I live in the country. So I didn't wanna shock my postman with having bright, well, I suppose it would have been a good idea because definitely my post box would have been noticed then. But anyway, I'm gonna just put those out of the way because I am going to use my hairdryer to blow some paint. So I don't want to blow paint, paint all over my lovely candle holders, which I will try and show you pictures at the end with the candle in lit and see how they're glistening. Rightio, I have some more of the champagne gold that I originally painted this with. So I'm gonna put some champagne gold on there. Because I will be blowing this around. So, because my uh, letters are dark, I wanted it sort of to show up, the letters to show up. So I didn't want the actual, um, artwork too um, pronounced but then again it, it however you want it you you just go with it I'm thinking that this particular piece of MDF that I'm doing this artwork on when it's fully dried it will need if I seal it all over back and front with resin it just makes it totally totally weatherproof so um, the weather won't affect it too much I think if I don't totally seal it, it might war. Righty-o, let's go, Joe. I am going to use these, like I said, earthy autumny colours. So that is the burnt umber with a bit of black in it. And I'll mostly blow it out to the corners. So it's probably white more than I need. Now this is the custom color as well. I make up my champagne with gold and silver equal mix of metallic. And this was gold silver with a bit of um, copper in it, metallic copper. So it makes another gorgeous color, really beautiful, good enough to eat. Sort of looks like um, chocolate fudge patty cakes or something. They look good enough to eat, that's for sure. And then there's the copper. You probably don't need so much, hold your horses. And then that's all I'm gonna do. And then for a little bit of bling, I'm gonna add some of my um, dark sea, which is like um, a real dark teal. So, just to add a little bit of bling, you know, it's just something to lift it. And then I'm gonna add a bit of my white to 
hopefully create some nice lacing when I blow it out. So very simple and I'm truly hoping that this <laughs> works out okay. Like I say, it's from a house number. So radio, I've got my little mini dryer. This is just, oh, blooming heck. This is just a mini hair dryer that I got from the charity shop. But what is good is got, it's got this, cause it's a foldable one. I can fold it this way instead of keeping it up like this to hair dry. This way, if the actually works perfect for blowing out. So here we go. I didn't need that much paint. I put too much paint on it. <laughs> Never mind, live and learn. Try and blow mostly off. I want to keep that teal on there. It looks lovely. So I might have to re put that back on again. Bear with me, bear with me, people. Just want to put some more of that teal and and um, try that again. Now I've blown some of the paint off because I love the teal in there. Oh, it's the dark sea. I will put the link where you can get that gorgeous colour from. So I'll put some more of the champagne because I preferred it on the light side. So I've definitely put too much of that um, burnt umber, but I'm sure it will look okay in the end she says she says a little bit of the champagne gold uh, the white Here we go again, now let's try. That is much nicer. See, remember my letters are gonna go there. So well, it's gonna take up quite a fair bit of the, now I'm thinking that, oh, oh no, that's okay. That's okay, maybe I should have still kept it very light on the background, but I'm happy with that. So hopefully the next time I, at the end, I will put the photos on of my letters. Um, but I'm really happy with that. Those colors look absolutely stunning. Remember, I'm not, I'm not worried about the center of this painting because it's gonna be covered up. So it's just nice to have that bit of lacing blown out. I'm happy with that. So I hope it was just another little idea for you in our um, little uh, acrylic paint endeavors, trying to do things differently. So until tomorrow, you lovely people, please take care. Um, take care of your mental health and, and do something that gives you joy. And if you need any help, there is definitely helplines, family, friends. So don't suffer in silence. Please take care until tomorrow. Bye for now. Well, the end product, my dear hubby did not like it being so dark with the uh, numbers. 
and number. So he's asked me to redo another plaque for the back in bright colors. So here we go. 